Hey guys, welcome. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the components that I have in my solar system in my off-grid shed. Uh, I'm going to be going over all of those components. I've taken a picture and I'm going to be drawing on that picture with my iPad and my Apple Pencil so you can see exactly how everything ties together all the way from the ceiling down to the inverter and everything in between. So if you like videos like this, please like, subscribe, comment, and let's dive right in. All right, you can see here on my iPad that I have a picture of my system. Let's go ahead and zoom in here to the board here. This is the piece of plywood that I have everything mounted to. So let's go ahead and start drawing on this picture and I can explain to you as we go through the process everything that's happening here. Here in the upper right, we have the wire coming in from the solar panels on the roof of my shed and this is at eight gauge wire size. As it comes in, we hit this unit right here and this is a 40 amp DC DIN circuit breaker with an on off switch right here that I can turn the power off of this system with the flip of the switch. So any power coming in from the solar panels right here, I can turn off immediately. Highly recommend doing this. Otherwise you're gonna have to climb up and throw blankets or plastic or something over your solar panels if you wanna work on your system. This is just simply mounted to a rail here that I have screwed to the board. Once again, this is a 40 amp DC DIN circuit breaker coming in directly from the positive side of the solar panels before it hits any units here in my system. We continue to draw the line down here to the solar charge controller. And as we come out of the solar charge controller, the wires that you see here are now at six gauge. Okay, this just helps with proficiency on this side of things. And we run into then another 40 amp circuit breaker. This 40 amp circuit breaker is now on the battery side of things. So if I need to disconnect the solar charge controller uh, from the battery, I can do that right here. And this is coming down and this comes up and comes into the positive bus bar that you see right here. This is a pure copper positive bus bar. So let's take the picture and let's move it up a little bit here so you can see my batteries. I have two battle-born lithium ion batteries that's, that are both 12 volts. So we have two times 12 volts equals 24 volt system because I have it synced together in series. And you can see that evident by this really thick wire that's right here. And this is a four zero gauge wire. So it's very, very thick and very, very proficient. I'm not losing any power going from one battery to the next. Now we draw from the battery up to the positive bus bar again, and you can see that hitting right there. And from there we have this unit right here, which is a 120 amp fuse. So if anything were to go crazy and that fuse were to bust, it's going to save my inverter, which is this line right here. We're going from the positive bus bar out to the inverter right here. And as you can see, this is a 2000 watt, 24 volt inverter. So let's zoom out a little bit. There's one more aspect that I wanna show you on the positive side of things. And that is this little wire that's right here. This is the positive reading coming from the battery monitor right here. This is a Victron 712 Smart Battery Monitor. And so that's the positive side of things. Okay, now that we've talked about the positive side of things, let's go ahead and look at the negative side of things. So let's head back down to the iPad. Let's zoom in here a little bit and let's start drawing this part of it. This is coming in from the solar panels. Again, this is eight gauge wire coming in directly to the solar charge controller from the negative side of the units up, up on the roof. And then out, we're coming over here and this is going to my negative bus bar, which is what you see right here. Let's move this down here and we're gonna draw up from the battery and this is gonna go into this shunt right here. This, if you're using the battery monitor from Victron or any battery monitor, you want this to be on the most negative portion of the system. 
meaning nothing else is coming in and out of it. This is going to give you a pure reading on the health of your battery. And so that's why that's on this side of the shunt coming in from the battery. From there, we connect everything together into the negative bus bar, which you see there. And then coming out, this goes to the inverter. And so that really is the negative side of things. Probably the most simple part of it uh, is the negative. The most complex part of it is just making sure that that negative shunt is on the negative side of things, the most negative side of things. So now that we've talked about that, the last really part to go over is just showing you guys how I have it grounded. Now I've got a screw here and I've got a screw here. This comes up from the solar charge controller into this bus bar that has terminals to it. And I've mounted a screw. I've got it screwed here to the chassis of the solar charge controller, as well as this screw over here screwed to the chassis of the inverter that goes into that bus bar and then out to my rod, which is eight feet pounded into the ground and also my solar panels are also grounded as well and so just in the event of a lightning or something like that at least the system is grounded so as we back out here this really is the system i know it looks like a lot of scribbles and it looks like a bunch of wires but it really really is not all that complicated and trust me if i can do this you can do this anybody can do this um, it's been really, really fun. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And if you want to try it out and do it, you know, start off small and work your way up and just have a lot of fun with it. I mean, it has been really, really fun doing this. So if you like this kind of stuff, please again, subscribe, like, comment, share my videos out, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.